In this video, I'm going to show you how you can really take your Google site to the next level by using custom colors picked from an image that you already have on the site. So you can see here on Mrs. Kerbopel's uh, website, I've got a couple of different options. I have this B background that's got some nice colors in it, or I could actually pick colors right out of this image too of the Springfield Elementary School and I could use those colors in my website. But since this B background is going to be on every page of my website, I'm going to use this image to pick colors out of. It's got a nice blue, it's got some yellow in the Bs, and I'm going to use those colors colors in different areas on my website. So you can see what I'm talking about before we get started with this. I'm going to show you a couple of other websites that I've developed and show you how I um, develop those sites. So you can see here, I started with this image right here and I pulled all of the colors that I used in this website from this image. So the background came from this image, uh, as did the tab color here and the title color here. So by starting with one image, you can really um, make a website special. Here's another website that I designed. It's got a little bit more going on in it. Um, with this background, I took the uh, horseshoe color and I made it the header background. I took this dark green color and made it the tab color. I used a color from the cowboy hat to color the selected tab, and I used the brown and the boots to make the um, title of my pages and the title of my site in that color. So depending on the image that you use, you can really make some quality sites, good looking sites, if you actually use those colors then in the rest of the website. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the Chrome Web Store. And we're actually going to use one of my favorite extensions, my favorite Chrome extensions to do this. And we need to, uh, so if you just Google the Chrome Web Store or go to chrome.google.com, slash web store, you'll find it. And we're going to do a search for eyedropper. That's the extension that we're looking for. And once you do your search, we're looking for an extension, so we're going to select the Extensions tab. And this is the eyedropper tool that we're looking for right here. I already have it installed, and you can see that right here. Your extensions live up in your um, next to your address bar, and that's where your extensions will show. I already have it installed, but yours will look like this. It'll say Free. Just go ahead and click on that Free and follow the steps to install it. And once you've got it installed, you'll see it up here in your address bar. All right, I'm going to go back to my website, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my colors. So I'm going to use the blue from the background, and I'm going to grab some of the yellow of the B. So to use the color picker extension, you're going to click on it, and when it opens, you're going to choose Pick Color from the Web Page. Now when you do that, notice that you have a little square that's following your mouse around. Well, that little square is picking the color, so if I hover my cursor over this picture, you can see I've got different colors in this picture. Well, we're going to use the blue from the B background, so I'm going to click on that, and that adds that to my dropper. And if we click on it again, you can see in the color history, I now have that one color. I also want to get the yellow from the B, so I'm going to do pick color from web page again, and I'm going to come over to a B until I get the yellow in the square, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I have those two colors saved in my color history, and we'll talk about how to access those colors in a minute. So now we're going to take those colors and we're going to add them to some different places on our website. To do that, we need to go to More and Manage Site. And once you get to Manage Site, you're going to go to Themes, Colors, and Fonts. Now one place where I think some color would be good would be up in the header right here. So I'm going to choose Site Header, and I want the background color. Okay, and so I'm going to choose the Paint Bucket. Now, when you click the Paint Bucket, you see you have all of these color swatches swatches, but you see this area right down here? It says enter color hex value. So if the color you want is not in this limited palette, you can actually use any color in the rainbow as long as you know its hex value. And basically what a hex value is, it's a code that tells the computer which color to display. So we're going to go back to the eyedropper, and we want to use the blue from the background in the header. So if I come over to the blue and I hover over that, notice how that little code pops up, B C, D, E, F7, that's a hex code for that color. So that tells the computer which color to use. If I click on that, that's going to put it, basically copy it to my clipboard. So now I can come back to my Manage Site, and I can go to the Paint Bucket, and down here I'm going to Paste, and that pastes in that hex code, and now you can see that that changes the background of that area to that color. So that's how you use the color picker. Now another area that I think would look good with some color would be our sections here. And I could use the blue, but maybe I'll choose the yellow from the B for this area. So I'm going to go to Sidebar Gadgets, and this is Title Background. 
I'm going to go back to my color picker because I already picked those colors and here is the yellow so when I click on it remember that copies it to the clipboard so I'll come back to sidebar gadgets and I want title background I want it to be a color click down here and I will paste in that color and you can see then that it uses that color the yellow of the bees in the background for the um, title of the sidebar one other area that I think might could could use some color would be the selected text so again that's in the sidebar so we'll go to selected text and here I think um, I'll use the blue from the background again so I'm going to go back to the um, eyedropper I'm going to click the blue from the background to copy it I'm going to come to selected text background color and I'm going to click in my hex code value and paste in that color and now that color same color that I've got in the header and the background now because this is a light blue it's a little hard to read that white text so we might also go up to the text color and maybe a darker blue or we could even use the black that's in the B for that color so I think those are a couple of places where we could use some color you know there's more options there but I think those are good to start with so let's go ahead and save that and we'll go back out to the website so that we can see our changes in full and so now you can see where your changes have been made and again it just takes that Google site to the next level so it doesn't look so much more like so much like a plain Google site anymore because you've used the eyedropper extension and picked out custom colors from the background image that you've used your site really has been taken to the next level